Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan the Softcore Brony, welcome back to Let's Play Philly Fantasy 6. Was there ever any doubt as to what I was going to do, ne do next, viewers? Was there really? Of course I'm going to take to the skies and take on Chrysalis already, especially since she's actually not all that difficult, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. So, well, last time, bonus video, and I found out I actually can very easily get Thunder Shield, so I've actually gone ahead and done that, as opposed to getting uh, Beige Bits, because I don't want the Thunder Shields for, or Thunder Splints, <laughs> for the uh, Lightning Protection so much as the 50% Wind Protection, which, well, the Beige Bit would have done for me anyway. Uh, as you can see, I have uh, Cadence built up for speed there, because she's going to be on defense, while every pony else is going to be on uh, offense, uh, as you can see. Uh, I've got Celestia jeweled up with the jeweled sword and the jeweled rings, and I also have her equipped with the Twilight Esper, because this is actually basically the strongest one we have right now. It, I didn't realize that Firefly and Powder and Twilight were actually a little weaker than Twilight or, yeah, Powder, Firefly, and Star Squirrel <laughs> were a little weaker than uh, Twilight and Fizzy. But they are. And Twilight, Fizzy, basically the same power, but slightly less, so awesome. And then I also have Rainbow Dash equipped with Whistler, even though I could just cast this with Luna, but I don't want to. I want her to be uh, using her new Eclipse ability, which I'll be showing off today. And I think that's everything. I could also have bought the uh, Pegasus Ring for Caden, since it's basically the exact same thing as the Gale Band, except slightly better. Uh, including a plus 20 uh, evasion, but eh, it wasn't really necessary. Also, before doing this, you're going to want to make sure no one in your party is a multiple of level 5, because Chrysalis will always start off the battle casting level 5 death. Now, in order to find her, she's just out here somewhere in the air on the world map. She's stationary, <laughs> yeah, randomly. We want to tap slightly to either the right or the left, and then just move so that we're covering basically every bit of uh, space here on the world map. This could easily take a little while. But, uh, let's see, yeah, see how we're kind of ever so slightly moving to the right? But this way we can cover, like, every square for the most part. And eventually, at some point, we're gonna run into Chrysalis. Like that! Perfect! And she'll start off with level 5 death. The first thing I want to do, I want, okay, you to cast Wind Whistler, Cadence, Runic. You use your new Eclipse ability, and you just summon. Because Chrysalis will frequently use the Drain spell in this battle. She will not use... Ouch. Now oh, that's bad. You just die from here on out. And you just stay on standby. Bam! Not quite as strong as it was when it was a physical attack. <laughs> or a magic attack. It actually would be almost 4,000 points of damage right now if it were. But it's still good. So... Anyway, as far as this battle goes... Oh, well, that's kind of a bit of a rarity. Wow, she actually missed! <laughs> I'll talk about Charm in just a moment, but yeah, Chrysalis, she's immune to ice and wind, and eventually, at some point, she's going to use uh, Windstorm, which is why I have the Wind Elemental Protection, but otherwise, she usually uses Drain constantly, but not today. Uh, it eats through Reflect, <laughs> so that didn't go anywhere, but yeah, it eats through Reflect, so that's why I have Cadence using Runic there, and eventually, as you just saw, Chrysalis will run away. It is completely random when she'll do so. Fortunately, we have healing right here on the ship. Let's see, what else do I want to say about her? She has that move Charm that you saw, that, actually, it's kind of a rarity when she uses that. <laughs> Uh, she'll only ever use it once per battle, typically. It's basically a guaranteed uh, confusion ability that is completely unblockable. There is no defense against it. <laughs> Except, apparently, it can miss. See, I'll say a couple other things, but now that we're... Yeah, again, we've slightly to either the right or the left, and now we've got to find her somewhere on the world map all over again. She's now somewhere else. 
But, uh, yeah, she can also use Windstorm, as I just said. And she also has a almost but not quite unique ability called Mega Drain. Which was, well, I think it's actually the same exact power as the Drain spell, but it hits the whole party. <laughs> so, there you go. That's actually why I have uh, Wind Whistler for the shell, because it can do, like, 600 points of damage without uh, shell. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I need that extra little bit of defense. And Chrysalis herself actually has auto haste shell and... Uh, save, which is also why uh, Eclipse is a good ability. Although, as you saw, Eclipse is more or less just a pummel times two in this mod, unfortunately, since it's become physical, which is a little unfortunate, because I think as I, well, I think I previously just said, it would have be doing around 4,000 if it were magical, so it has been nerfed a bit, but for an ability that doesn't cost anything, it's great. <laughs> there, so let's see. Anything else I wanted to say? I believe that Chrysalis is, like, the only boss in the game that you can use level 4 fl uh, flare against if you so choose. Oh, I'm actually running into her pretty fast there. Okay, it'll always start the same way. And the other significant thing about this, it may seem pointless that I'm just fighting her over and over, but she's just gonna run away. But in truth, uh, she retains all damage that's taken to her in between, or, well, yeah, in between the fights, so she I've still hurt her just as much as I did before. Including the amount of MP she's used, which is kind of significant because you actually can kill her by taking all of her MP away. But she has 38,000 MP, <laughs> so that's not the most plausible thing, especially when she had to work she had to worry about the terrain as well. Well, actually, it wouldn't matter if she's not taking any damage. So you could do that, although you still have to worry about Windstorm. Mega Drain, this is why I wanted Shell, because that does a lot of damage. I'm not really worried about getting killed by her like this. Ah, yeah, unfortunately she does drain a little too frequently. But, oh well. One thing you could do with this battle that's kind of interesting is uh, you could have Scootaloo by herself in this battle with the Wind Saddle to make her immune to that, right there. You know what? Actually, Luna, I think I'm gonna have you... Yeah. I need you to help us out there. Even though she's probably not gonna kill any, any pony. But yeah, you could have Scootaloo come to this battle alone with the Wind Saddle and then have her be, uh... Uh, use an ability that makes her undead. And then Chrysalis would hurt herself every time she uses Drain and Mega Drain. There you go. So, yeah, that's something. Because especially since Scootaloo also has really high evasion. Oh, she's flat anyway. Yeah, she has really high evasion, so she wouldn't have to worry about the physical attacks that uh, Chrysalis uses either. <laughs> Let's go in the ship first so I can heal. But yeah, I'm basically just going to be doing this over and over and over again. She's not terribly dangerous. Oh, other thing I haven't mentioned. She's only weak to the holy elements. Uh, unlike the original, who was weak to both holy and fire. And... Let's see, I want to be kind of great. And then, like the right. But yeah, they're... Unfortunately, there's only two Holy Elemental weapons in the whole game, and one of them is the Holy Claw, and the other one is a weapon that is unique to Luna. So, you can't really do much with that with physical attacks. I could have the Holy Element right now for a spell, uh, either through actually an Esper that we can get uh, eventually, or through that Holy Ring that uh, I, I passed up a while ago. Like, it was just, I passed as just kind of an optional item. But since I'm using Runic, that wouldn't really help me right now anyway. So I'm doing things this way. <laughs> and I think... Is that everything I wanted to say there? I think that's everything I've got on my notes there. I don't know if she's actually immune to poison element. I haven't bothered to try, but I don't really care either. And just in case I didn't say it yet, she is immune to ice and wind. So... Yeah, don't use Powder or Gust. <laughs> Suppose I could use Wave if I really wanted to, but uh, uh, Runic absorbs that too, so that's why I'm using the Espers, which this is the strongest I've got right now is Twilight. 
And I'll probably speed this up a little a bit eventually since I don't really have much else to say about this battle. <laughs> Actually, I think Chrysalis is like the only boss in the whole game that you can use one of uh, the level spells against outside of level question holy. <laughs> Which actually would be really freaking useful right now, but I can't, don't have that, so... This is actually kind of the perfect party to use outside of Rainbow Dash. It just, well, I don't know, works out. <laughs> so yeah, it can take a while to fight her, but... Yeah, no big deal at all. There we go. Yeah, I like Dash using Whistler as opposed to having Luna just use her, her Aura, because Dash is fast. So she usually gets to go first anyway. And yeah, eventually she has 50,000 HP, so she'll, you know, take a dive <laughs> eventually. But yeah, I'll probably have to come find her at least five times, probably. But, yeah, I suppose I could have just, you know, raise the battle of Rasp against her, being that she can't really do much outside of Windstorm to damage us. Uh, otherwise, the Strain wouldn't be able to do anything if she hasn't taken any damage. So, uh, knew that was going to happen eventually. Darn it. Oh well. Boom. Not that she would have been affected by Windstorm anyway, but... Unfortunately, you can't preemptively try to use Runic, because whenever you see... Well... Cadence, like, you know, change her expression just to denote that she's, you know, about to do something. Uh, she is not under Runic anymore. Yeah, when she does that, she's technically not under Runic anymore, even if she, that was the last thing she used. So, yeah, I can't preemptively try to use Runic, <laughs> unfortunately. Ah! Reflect just doesn't work against that, so, darn it. Yeah. Well, I could kill myself with uh, one of these, but she's probably, yeah, gonna run away soon anyway. Which, again, completely random. There's no rhyme or reason to when she runs away. I've, I've, I've seen her run away after, like, one round before. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just gonna be repeating this over and over and over again, and eventually she will go down. And what happens when she goes down? Well, I don't think you get any experience points or... Well, you don't get experience points for any boss in this game. But, yeah, I don't think you get uh, any any uh, magic points either. But you do get something that is worthwhile right now. But, uh, we'll see once I actually defeat her, which, well, might take at least two more tries, maybe more. So, we'll see. Speed up, please! that's a good song, and you know, one thing I actually just now remember that I probably could have done already <laughs> to speed up the process a little bit, is that I do have leftover uh, rods, specifically the flame rod that I'm almost never going to use again, so I could use that to speed up the process a little bit, because that will do, uh, I think somewhere in the ballpark of like 3,000 points of damage right now, <laughs> so yeah, I could have been using that to speed this up a little bit, but <laughs> kind of forgot about it, okay, because when I use them as an item, they do break! But they do do a ton of damage, so... And I'm probably never going to use the rods again anyway. Although I might need them again for uh, some of my other characters, since I don't exactly have, like, all this... Uh-oh. Well, fine. Fine. She'll hit us. There's no way to undo that, except for her to die. There's no way to defend against it either. That's the crazy thing about Charm. It's an ability that you actually could have learned in the original game with uh, Gao, and it was just the most broken ability ever because you could use it against any boss. Any boss. It just was nuts. <laughs> yeah, this is another reason why I don't have Cadence with, you know, oh, because she ran away really quickly that time. Yeah, that's another reason why I don't have Cadence with, like, <laughs> Hero Ring or something really powerful there. <laughs> So, yeah, let's, uh, heal up and, well, see about finishing her off again. I don't know, I don't think I'll, yeah, I'm probably never going to use those flame and thunder rods again, so. 
Well, I got rid of the Flame Rod, but yeah, I probably could get rid of the... Well, Ice Rods especially, because there's very few enemies uh, remaining in the game that are weak to ice, as it is anyway. And as far as the Rods go, I'm almost guaranteed to never use those again, so... Yeah, I might as well break those on, on Chrysalis' face, too. Wow, that was almost immediate. <laughs> of course, I could also break, uh, or you could, if you have the funds, you could also, of course, go buy all those, uh, well, specifically the water elemental uh, rod <laughs> and break those on her face as well. So, yeah, that could easily speed up the process, but that is very costly, so I wouldn't really advise it, although, of course, the, the uh, cactar is available. So, there is that. I don't know exactly how much damage I've done to her so far, but it shouldn't be too much longer before she's down. slightly to the left when I'm pointing slightly to the right. <laughs> That's weird! What happened there? Huh. that anyway, I totally forgot about that, but oh well. Actually, should I have just used Twilight right there? That might have been really, really bad. Oh, she's dead anyway, okay. <laughs> I might have just Twilighted myself, but uh, okay. Uh, bye, Chrysalis. It's actually really sad that you're still pining for Shining Armor there. Yeah, you don't get anything out of that for as far as experience point goes, but... Hey! She dropped a piece of magicite that will automatically go pick up. And you receive... Spike! Uh, G1 Spike, specifically. Which is a really, really good Esper for Princess Celestia. It costs a lot, but... It's a multi-target uh, magical attack that eats through magic defense, unblockable. Yeah, it's really, really powerful. It's actually like the most powerful thing we can have right now. Uh, I love it to spam this against uh, monsters it's the, uh, if I'm not using Masquerade. And plus, it uses the almighty flare spell. Single target, uh, defense ignoring magic. Uh, also, I don't think, well, actually, I can miss, but, uh, <laughs> almost never run into that. Plus, 50% HP, I'm gonna be giving this to Celestia from here on out. I suppose, like, maybe I should have given her the, uh, what was it, the 30% more, because she doesn't really need magic, because she's, from here on out, she's either gonna be spamming Masquerade or Spike, uh, in, like, every boss battle she's gonna be in. I'll still teach her various spells. And one In fact, I'm actually going to uh, not have you use Spike right now. But I'm going to have uh, you at least. I think I'm actually going to go back to the Cactar and have you at least learn Flare real quick uh, before I go on to uh, what the next thing I'm going to do. But 
Yeah, this is G1 Spike, uh, kind of reimagined as a full-on dragon instead of the baby dragon that he was. <laughs> so, you've actually, we've actually seen basically what he looks like because of some of those cutscenes before when the Espers were escaping from the Esper Cave and all that, but maybe he moved across too fast to see. We'll be showing this guy off eventually, maybe not immediately, but definitely eventually. But, uh, yeah, with Celestia's stats, I really don't need it to be any higher than that. And I can do, like, six, seven thousand points of damage with Spike. <laughs> easy. Well, maybe not just yet at the current levels, but, but I'll be able to do that fairly easily soon. And, uh, now that we've defeated Chrysalis, she's no longer, well, in the sky, so we don't have to worry about running into her by, uh, by chance, and... Well, unfortunately, she wasn't worth any money or anything, but... Hey! Spike alone, I think, is worth it. So, once I'm done... Now that, uh, I've done that, again, the world is open to what I want to do next, and... Well, it actually is going to look somewhat similar to the order I did things in in Pony Fantasy, but I am going to be doing things in a slightly different order because of where certain things and what have you are located. So, now that we're done with uh, Chrysalis, next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to become... Wait, where is it? Oh, over... Isn't that the cave? Where's the... Oh, no, there it is. I was like, where's the entrance? <laughs> Yeah, I'll be going over to this cave for a particular reason next time on Let's Play Philly Fantasy VI. Arriva Derchie!